Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include EU threatens Britain with massive fines for not sharing data. UK and EU in panic as USA introduces surveillance bill. Eurocrats splash another 15 million euros onto the ECB charge card. UK repatriation of powers as EU leaders execute Lisbon Paracel clause. Plus, here comes the Euro army. Don't look now, we're being assimilated. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit nightly news. First up from our homepage, Britain could be fined at least seven and a half million pounds for infringing EU proceedings. This article looks at the results of granting sweeping powers to the EU. According to the PRUM Treaty, the EU has power to interrogate data held on UK citizens. This article reads like a chapter from 1984. As I said at the opening of the year, the EU masterclass have really got the hammer down as the forge towards a new world order and federal Europe continues. Barack Obama is looking more and more formidable as he signs in more powers for state control. On Monday, President Obama signed the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Amendment Act into law. Essentially, this gives the US the power to access all data on the internet, including Twitter, Facebook and Google. This article is massive and it demonstrates the global desire of government to seize control of the internet. In particular, this affects EU citizens as so much internet traffic passes through the US and is therefore subject to the FISA laws. Ah oh yes, it's only Monday, but they've been out on the tiles again. Yep, you've guessed it, our fiscal fudging banana brains in Brussels have been out with the ECB charge card again. Today's prize winners are Ghana, who will be receiving 15 million euros of EU taxpayers' money. Unless, of course, Mr Draghi is planning another round of naked bond sales to magic more money from thin air. The gory details, including further rounds of funding to come, are covered in this article. Links are below. Dave Cameron has been left kicking the dust by himself as it looks like the EU bully boys from Brussels have decided to leverage the passerelle clause of the Lisbon Treaty to enact the new powers it needs to deliver fiscal integration, a stepping stone closer to the final federal United States of Europe. This article sets out a clear example of the true nature of the powers given to the EU by Gordon Brown when he signed the Lisbon Treaty. Mr Cameron finds himself in a very lonely void, with little option of repatriating powers from the EU. So here it is. Merry Christmas. Ah, sorry, no, that was last month, wasn't it? What I meant to say was, here it is, the European Army. That's right, folks. The proposals have been through the political pantomime in the EU hemicycle and passed with little to no resistance as usual. We have the full proposal in our legislation section, but the nugget in this article is, and I quote, The committee suggests that the possibility of creating further joint capabilities such as the EU battle groups and the European Air Transport Command. All the pieces to complete the federal United States of Europe are now out in the open, and we've got it all covered in the thousands of articles on our website at theunit.com. Today in our video library, we have the trailer for this upcoming documentary about multinational corporate influence in the European Union and how big business covets our political leaders. Well, that's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, our The Word program is active again, so if you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis. For the Unit Nightly News, I'll see you soon.